Hello, my noodle drips. It's Anthony Fantano, Internet's busiest music nerd. And you know what? It's my birthday. And they say that when it's your birthday, you can cry if you want to. And when I feel like curling up in the fetal position and weeping about the pointlessness of life, I like to put on an album that's going to crush my head with the ease of a Godzilla-sized stomp. So, here is the new Bong Ripper album, Satan Worshipping Doom. This is the Illinois band's sixth LP, and the album title, the band name, the album art could not be any less misleading. You'd have to be a complete idiot to not know what you're getting yourself into over here. Not that I expect everyone to have memorized the heavy hitters in doom metal, but, you know, you're really not in for the next installment of Kids Bop on this thing, obviously. This thing is more like, now that's what I call Music 666. Now, I understand many of you may look at this and say, Satan, worship, bong, not for me. But I promise you don't need to join a cult or sacrifice a virgin to enjoy this album. Might help though. What metal fans will get on this album is a fresh take on a familiar sound. Bong Ripper takes the classic riffs of Electric Wizard's Dope Throne and runs them up against the long-winded, psychedelic, and trippy ambition of Sleep's Dope Smoker. But the sound on this thing is really where it's at. It's where this thing becomes new and shiny. Bong Ripper whips out a pretty punishing mix on Satan worshiping doom something that rivals their contemporaries like torch and baroness this thing is even meatier than the new kylisa record and the entire is completely devoid of vocals so you know they're concentrating on that badass sound as bong ripper rips across these four tracks which are creatively titled hail satan worship and Doom, they bring some variety to the table, they just don't stick to the same sound the whole time. The first track has a classic Doom aesthetic, and kind of reminds me why I love the genre so much in the first place. Just a great tempo and exemplary heaviness. And Bong Ripper takes that heavy sound and brings it to the second track as well, but crossbreeds it with black metal of all things. Harsh chords, blast beats, some extra reverb for added atmosphere. Honest to God, black metal. The third track, Worship, is the longest and most evolutionary of all of them on this album. And that's why I like this LP so much. These tracks really shift slowly from one idea to another. You realize that the shift is going on, but it's very subtle. Many Doom bands are just content to have a heavy sound and then just sort of <laughs> with it for about 20 minutes at a time. But Bomb Ripper, they'll take a groove, they will slowly put more of an emphasis on a certain note. It'll get louder, it'll get heavier, the drums will get more massive, more distortion will get thrown on the mix. It's just constantly in a state of flux. The last track is really where the headbanging fun stops, though. It's much noisier, much more experimental, way more drony. I would say, though the drums are hitting pretty constantly. It's really where this band stops rocking and just starts kind of creating a ruckus. I mean, if this thing were a video game, that song would be the final boss. This thing is massive, it's dissonant, and not all that pleasant. My only real gripes with this LP, the last track meanders a little bit toward the beginning, and you know what? Fade out. It's really aggravating to hear fade outs on some of these tracks especially when you're hearing something that you You see what I'm saying? Well, believe me, that's not an issue you run into too much considering that there are only four tracks on here that run just short of an hour. I'm feeling a strong A to a light 9 on this LP. I'm enjoying the hell out of this album. It's just got a great sound, great riffs, great ambience, good progression. It's a high point for Doom this year. I think. I spoiled myself with the vinyl for my birthday. That's on the way in the mail. But you guys can go on their Bandcamp page down there in the D-Box, stream the entire album, and pick it up digital for five bones. So, you know, that's a nice price. Let me know what you guys think of this album. Is Satan Worshipping Doom the next plateau other stoner metal bands must reach? Or do I just have my head up my ass? Anthony Fantano, Bong Ripper, Satan Worshipping Doom.
forever. <laughs>